and welcome back to War of Football. Today, we're going to be talking about the Champions League, uh, going over what happened in the first leg, looking forward to the second leg, giving our predictions on what's going to happen and talking about all the big narratives. Let's start off with the Bayern versus Real Madrid game because yeah. I think that's the most... <clears throat> that's the big uh, the glamour time. Bigger game. Obviously, a lot of narratives to come out of that. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've said Madrid since the last time we filmed and we talked about Champions League. I said Madrid before the City game. I still back Madrid. I just think that heritage and that that pure winning mentality they've got in the Champions League is, is different gravy. They've they've drawn away, so you, going back to yeah, the Bernab Bernabeu, Bernabeu, you've got to back them, really. I just I just think Bayern needed to go back to the Bernabeu with a win, I think. Yeah. At least a goal up, I think. And why didn't they? Kim Min Jae, yeah, that's why. Because he's fucking shite. No. I th the thing with Bayern as well, their centre-backs, is none of them complement each other. The most balanced centre-back partnership they've got is uh, Delict and Dyer. Mm. And that's not a good partnership. Like, yeah. it's it's not ideal. Upa Meccano needs someone to cover him because he's going to make mistakes. Kim mistakes. needs someone to cover him just because of the role yeah, he Upa plays. Meccano and Kim. Is, and neither of those yeah, other yeah. two are good at covering. Yeah, um, Dyer's just, he's an all-round player, but he's like, what, a six or seven out of ten in everything. Yeah. He's not an eight out of ten. He's not a nine out of ten in anything. Yeah. Um, they need Virgil van Dijk just to sit there and defend with his aura. That's what they need. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone needs Virgil the van Dijk. Is, Kim and Jay so <coughs> aggressive. Kim, Eric Dyer's not the cover you need in that, that situation yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. is it yeah like there are better options it, and they barely played together as well like I'm not surprised that there was a massive gap there was no communication mm. uh, that like there were mistakes there being made like Dyer made a couple of mistakes which Kim like covered which is why I was like oh he's had like really good games covering quite well even yeah. though he's not a covering defender yeah. by trade um, I agree he might have got a bit too much stick but when a defender makes two mistakes yeah. and leads to two goals you're going to get sick getting, oh yeah, yeah. Ob yeah. obviously <laughs> I just think people went in too far again there were other things yeah. it's weird to me that the narrative if is it's Kim's mistake? So like the first one I thought was a good goal. The second one, it, pro it probably is his mistake. Like, yeah, yeah, that's it, how it, I it see it. He's given away a penalty. It is yeah, a mistake. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, will yeah. be the narrative because he got spurred. He gave away the penalty, and the commentators would not shut up about yeah. that. It what, is, that's it what is, annoyed that's me. Why, about it. That's why it's the commentary. That's, yeah, yeah, that's exactly why. Me. But do you think by? And I'll come to you, James. Do you think Bayern can? I was going to say bring it back. It is level, but mm. do you think they can go there and get the result they need? They can because they've got an elite player in Harry Kane up front. And you saw elite. They, obviously, they, we haven't. Yeah, obviously. Um, <laughs> we uh, saw the Leroy Sane goal. You haven't talked about that. Yeah, oh, that so is good. Such the a people good blame goal. the keeper for that yeah, as well. Not, that's not a goal mistake. He, yeah, he that's not, that. I, don't get me wrong. You shouldn't get beaten near near post and whatnot. But he is that so Mate, hard. That's, it no. flew off his boots. Very so few goalkeepers hard. safe. I agree. No. And maybe maybe Courtois. This is one of the reasons yeah, why yeah. Leroy Sane. He had a really good start to the season. He's been kind of off the boil though recently. Um, but if he can just find his form, that that goal might do the just mean the absolute world to him. Mm. And if he can go to the Bernabeu, hit on the counter attack and stuff like that, mm. they've definitely got a chance. They have a they've they have a chance. chance. Like you said sorry, they've always got a chance when you've got Kane up front. We got Kane up front. You've yeah. got these and you're Bayern Munich as well. Like he's very good players. And Tuchel is he's an elite coach, so he, yeah. he's going to yeah. go there. With well, the he's player. gone yeah, yeah. to the, the Bernabeu and and got a very good victory with a pretty average Chelsea team as it was at the time. It Obviously, was, yeah. you got knocked out on aggregate. But yeah, we, we we went there and won like it was like three one. We won. Yeah, we lost yeah. the home game three 0 And that was that was the worst team in this Bayern team. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, sorry. I think Bayern can. However, how do you? It's so difficult to tactically approach an Ancelotti Madrid side. Yeah, mm. I think they and just. I, don't I think they think do it the same. Will. I think that. I think Real Madrid. They're not like controllers of games. It's not like you're going to no, get a not. Man City performance out of them at all. No. Well, and this is going to sound so basic, but it's the best way I can describe Real Madrid. Is they're very good at not conceding goals and they're very good at creating chances, which is like mm. a recipe for mm. winning football it's matches. Tough to beat, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And but it's there, like there knockout a, football as well. So mm. like, yeah. Can I say, it blows my mind watching Real Madrid how much they get away <laughs> with <laughs> poor finishing or just an unbelievable goalkeeper performance. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm. How on earth? It's that, it's that heritage, mate. It's that Champions it is, League they heritage. They have 14 Champions League. Yeah, I think that like going how? through, on, if, if you're an attacker, going through on goal against Real Madrid, you're going to feel that pressure more than going through on goal against Brighton. Aura. Yeah, of course. Of, well, it is aura. It is. Aura. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I think the only... Uh, and it is a thing that does exist. I like. think the only player... We need stats on Aura. The yeah, only player do. that was a bit of a letdown that game was Bellingham, I think. I was, yeah, a, bit, I was, a, bit, I was a bit uninspired. From a Madrid point of view. Mm. I was a bit uninspired by Bellingham. I thought he was just a bit meh. Yeah, I mean, players have games like that. People are like, oh, mm. the big stage, he's, he's bottled. He scored two winners against Barcelona. Like, he's yeah, sitting, yeah, he's he can like, handle the big stage. I'm a yeah, big, yeah. big fan of his. Can I just I, thought yeah. he was a bit... Can I just say, people this season would... Not talk. We're not really talking about Bellingham as a player. We're mm. talking about Bellingham as a goal scorer. Moments, mm. yeah, which yeah. is which is not. So what, uh, that's uh, not his job. Uh, <laughs> and like, so Bellingham, we have a very weird 
view of him because we are viewing him as a goal scorer right now mm, and yeah. not as a football player. So if he doesn't score, I'll be yeah. bad. He's had a shit game. Yeah. Especially like in he, were, he, was, he was objectively quiet in that game. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 For, for him, not. for his standards, he was quite quiet. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, it, he was ill. By the way. That's, that's, that's the, the excuse. That's yeah, the excuse. Always one of them, yeah. But the English media and generally people in England as well aren't watching Real Madrid. They kind of see these moments and they yeah. go, wow, this guy's doing this for Real Madrid. Yeah. They don't actually like, sit down and watch, watch the yeah, games. Exactly. I don't watch all the games, but when I've seen him, he's mostly been very good in his all-round play. Like, yeah. Really like a very complete player. I'm so not so well, worried you, about you've, you've been saying about Real Madrid, they don't control the game. They, have, yeah. they, they score and they don't concede. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. Bellingham yeah. is quite often not going to have a great game. Yeah, true. It's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, his his ball carrying is dumb good though. Like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like on the ball is a joke. Technically, he's so yeah. So good. yeah. There are there are hints of Zidane in there, aren't there? I agree. Like, I agree. Like the the aura, the, the way, way he carries moves. himself, the yeah, way he moves, how tall he is, just yeah. that gliding, striding. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say he's striding. that level, but he's that kind of profile. And, and, then, and then you hear his accent. <laughs> then, he, then he opens his mouth. Yeah, <laughs> he says vamos, <laughs> vamos. Or. Um, so yeah, are you all going to predict Real Madrid to go through? Or is anyone going to yes. stick their neck out? I think no, I'll, go, go for it. I'll go Bayern. I'm, I, I, Bayern? I really do think it is is still open. Like it's that, open. I, I reckon we're going to see a similar the, the game play out in a similar way as what we did in Munich. I, I think it'll I come I, down to the like the attackers who takes the chances on yeah. the line. I, agree. I think it's going to yeah. be very close, but I think at the Bernabeu, I just fancy Madrid to poach it by one. Nice. It, did, I mean, it wouldn't stuff, surprise I, some me. of the stuff I've seen happen at the Bernabeu in those Champions League. Like, do you remember Sven Ulrich? I think it was 2018. Pass back. And he tries to pick up the ball. And he's yeah. like, oh no, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. And then Benzema just goes and taps it in. Aura, that is, mate, that is what happens at Real Madrid. That's the aura, yeah. man. That's, That's the Real Madrid aura. aura. You think yeah. the, next, the next game, it was in Kiev. Karius has the worst goalkeeping performance of all time. Yeah. It's Real Madrid aura. It they will go through. <laughs> they will win it. We need stats on aura, man. I'm telling you, it's a real thing. <laughs> but yeah, I think, oh. I think Madrid to go through. We'll move on now then to PSG versus Dortmund. A very nice, a very good first uh, first leg. When you think about setting up the second leg, because mm. Dortmund have the advantage. But now going back to Paris, yeah. the favourites you would think should be able to overturn that still. But Dortmund have got that lead to defend. I'm really interested in this. I can't call this one. Um, I think obviously if Mbappe turns up, then PSG win. Fancy but it. he was he didn't he was quiet in the first leg. Very quiet. Um, um, yeah, kind of. I think Mbappe... I mean, he did hit not, the post, didn't he? Like, he, did he could have scored. That, oh, that was so unlucky. Yeah. And then H- Hakimi hits like, the post, yeah. like, five seconds later yeah. as well. Just, yeah. just after half-time, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I think he was quite quiet, though. But again, it's just because of his standards. You expect yeah. him to get the ball and be like, right, what's he going to do? If he doesn't do anything, you're like, oh. Mbappe, yeah. Mbappe's scary when the game's open. Yeah, Where when when both teams are, are, and are also, getting a lot of... He has that ability to, like, go, my team need me. Flick the switch. Change the game. And can I just say, a first leg away from home... It's, I actually think it's a bit more difficult to judge a player because it's the first leg away from home. You kind of just don't want to get battered. Yeah. And when you're not getting battered, you don't need these moments because you've got the I second mean, leg, mm. which is where well, don't you can imagine he'd show up. If they were like 3 0 down, you could think, oh, okay, maybe maybe he could have done something a bit better. But it's 1 0. He doesn't need to like go but, overboard because he still has yeah. that second leg. PSG like, won't be that. Fuming they lost that game 1-0. No, no, They'll still not. be like, we'll, yeah. we'll go through. Yeah, they, would they have... had chances that game. Yeah, yeah. Fabian, oh, Ru- Fabian Ruiz should have scored a header. Yeah, he did. Oh, Marquinhos, what a performance, by the way. Yeah. For, for a setback, he that, lost. That wasn't that good. The, right, the weight of the pass, that's so difficult to do. The weight of the pass, when we're, like whipping yeah. that in, and no, it was good. No, it the block. Good. Oh, the block. No, I was yeah. talking about the pass to after yeah, exactly. when was it? Brandt went in, took a yeah, touch. Yeah, yeah. But the shot was but like, like really like, weak and bad. First time, and yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah. Oh, Marquinhos yeah. saved him. It's like even Donnarumma, Donna Kebab, <laughs> Donna even Kebab Donna Kebab is going to save that. Yeah. Like it think, wasn't a good shot. Do you think Donna Kebab should have saved the goal? It's, no, no, it's no, a good finish. Okay. It's a very good finish. Some goalkeepers would have done, but it's I wouldn't. It's not yeah. like I'm. I'm very harsh on Donna Kebab. Um, I think he's so so average. He's so overrated. He's so overrated. I think I don't think he's even in top two Italy goalkeepers. I think Donnarumma is one of the most overrated goalies in the world, if yeah. not the most. Yeah, I, uh, I've seen him make so many howlers. Like he's so many how and he's like De Gea, but he's better at catching. But the crosses. thing is, it's not even like he makes loads and <laughs> loads of it. like it's not like he makes loads and loads of really obvious errors. There's just shots that he should just save that he just doesn't save. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, why yeah. are you not saving that? Yeah. And I think it's because he hit the scene at what like sixteen. And everyone was like, "Fucking!" He was this kid. good at sixteen. He, he hasn't got any better. Uh, yeah. Like he, when he hit the scene, everyone was like, "This is 
Yeah, the new, the new Buffon. Be, and, yeah, the new Buffon, and he's going to be unbelievable. And he's not got any better. This yeah. is the Phil Jones effect, man. Alex Ferguson, <laughs> when he picked him up, he was he like, he's going to be England's best centre-back, captain, leader, everything. Yeah. Yeah. And he just didn't improve from the, the bloke that we signed. That's the thing, though. When PSG are in a game, I always think, oh, the opposition can always score. Yeah. Because it's not even if they do anything that good. Mm. No, they like, lo- he, he can give up Loads goals. of chances. Yeah. Yeah. Loads Dort- of chances. Dortmund have a lot of goal-scoring options in that second leg. Yeah. So, you, Sabitz, Sabitz is one of them. Yeah. Sabitz yeah, yeah, yeah. Has, has been he should have scored. He should have scored, but like, it's actually not been too bad for Dortmund this season. Done a yeah. job, isn't he? He has done a job. You have Julian Brandt, a full He's been so good. I love, yeah. I love you. Full crook, and they have like um, good signing here. Was uh, what's his name? Adi Yemi. Yeah, on the he had, he had a good so game. Quick. Yeah, he burned, Adi Yemi had a good game. Well. He's, he's, just, he's just annoying, especially with Hakimi, who's like yeah. up in like Jeremy Frimpong territory. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think that second leg will be a good watch. I think it'll be an open game. Yeah, because I think I think they're both set up good. You know what it needs? It needs an early Dortmund goal. Yes, and that game is going to be chaos. But Dortmund aren't going to sit in. Is the thing like they just? Do you see Matt? Matt's Hummels, no, it's not, like, not how they play. Hummels, Hummels, the way he's played this season, he's just like he'll just step out of defence and sometimes just go like into a ten position at yeah, times. Yeah. And even um, Schlotterbeck as well, he'll like play out from the back and he'll drift forward as well at yeah, times. Yeah. Like their centre backs are happy to do that. Obviously, one t- one stays and sort of leave space in it. Yeah, and Schlotterbeck especially has the pace to like cover. Yeah. Um, but they're not going to like sit back. That's no. just not their style. No. That's not what they're going to do. It's gonna be, so it's it gonna will be, be yeah. very interesting. Um, in terms of Hummels, he had an amazing game. Obviously, mm-hmm. Sancho had a great game as well. Oh, yeah, um, I think I think Hummels was probably the actual man of the match, but Sancho got it because lots of dribbles, very nice, but created a few chances, was very good. Um, but in Hummels in general, did I'm speaking more to James because you've probably watched more uh, of Dortmund than these two this season. Um how good do you think he is? Because I've seen bits of Dortmund, and every time I see him, like he's unbelievable. How old is he now? He's probably thirty-four. I think yeah. he's older than that. I think he's like older, thirty-six yeah. still, or something. Still cooking. He was there um, in the twenty thirteen final, wasn't he? Hummels. Yeah, it's the, he said it's the only Champions League final yeah. he's played because I think he left Bayern the year before they. Yeah, won he it. missed it. Didn't yeah. He? yeah. yeah. So he, he's really, he was saying... Well, he's never really won it. No. Yeah, yeah. Fair. So yeah, he, he was saying he wanted the revenge. In fact, that's a, a good talking point. In terms of like, what's the final you want to see? What's the narrative you want to see play out? Because I'm split between <laughs> the Mbappe versus Real Madrid yeah. one and the Dortmund with Royce finally getting that yeah. trophy against Bayern. Hummels, obviously, is a, is a player who's in that as well. Also, I think just Dortmund in general, they haven't had the best season, but last season they almost won the league. I think Terzic has done a really good job um, at Dortmund and I'd really like to see it for him as well. So obviously Dortmund's the one I want, um, but that Mbappe one... Mbappe against Madrid would be a tasty final because yeah. everyone knows he's obviously yeah. going there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good Fun. one. I think, yeah, I think that one would be the, the best watch. I think an all-German final would be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, rerun 2013 again. And yeah. at Wembley. And at Wembley. And at Wembley, yeah. yeah literally, literally deja vu. Yeah. Get but, Robin back in. Yeah. And again, Royce, Royce winning it for Dortmund in his last season would be pretty cool. Mm. PSG winning it would be... It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be good because it would only be the second French team to win it. Yeah. And when Marseille True. won in 93, it was uh, under a lot of like scrutiny with yeah. the match fix and stuff like that. It's Mbappe's but perfect goodbye, isn't yeah, it? Of course it is, yeah. And then obviously Madrid have just got the heritage of keep winning the fucking Champions League. Yeah, yeah at the end of the day, we can say, well, what, Madrid are going to win it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's, what you want, that's yeah. worst case we scenario. We forgot about the aura. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, you know what? End the podcast. Yeah. Madrid winning it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think like PSG winning it, they're not an underdog, but because they haven't won it before, mm. that would be cool, especially doing it against Real Madrid with Mbappe. That would be cool. But yeah, for me, I want it to be Dortmund. I'm assuming you're all the same just in terms of... I'm um, Dortmund. I'm Dortmund. I, I don't mind PSG winning it because I don't. I like to see a new champion. Yeah. Um, but PSG or Dortmund, to be honest, one of that. I think it'd be quite cool if Bayern won it for Kane. No, I don't want Kane to do you know, win do you, know, do you know why I don't want Bayern to win it? Why? Because they'll go one ahead of Liverpool. Oh, will they? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so no, I, think case case I, mean, I don't care about Real Madrid. I, I, I like I, Man City now. Just keep on winning it. No, I, feel, yeah. I feel bad for Kane, man. Like, went to... The, but Bundesliga. They win the Euros. It's fine. Win the Euros. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think let him quite, have the Euros. I, I, I honestly, I don't mind if any of them win it because PSG is quite cool. Yeah. Madrid is Madrid. Dortmund for Royce and then Kane for Bayern. So I don't mind. Okay. That's as fair. a neutralist. Yeah. I was, we were saying this earlier. As English fans, it's so nice to not have to hate watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the Champions yeah. League semi-final. Arsenal and City. Are I'm out. so glad they're both out. Just enjoy it now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All good. Just enjoy it, man. Yeah. Less emotional investment. Just yeah. enjoy the show. That's what the Champions League should be about. Yeah. 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 We, we don't have to hate watch anymore. Quite like Usman Dembele doesn't have to hate play anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. He he's back to his normal self now. Yeah. After he just destroyed Barcelona. Well, he, it's a former Dortmund player, but I guess he doesn't hate them. Probably doesn't hate. Them. Oh yeah, yeah. Shit, I forgot about that. 
I'm yeah. glad the Champions League's back though because last season was a bit of a shitter, wasn't it? The semi final was pretty poor. Yeah. No, well, Man City played this unbelievable game against yeah, yeah, they did. Madrid. But the, like the, yeah. the Milan semi final was terrible. I think all yeah. the knockout games this year have been class. They have. They've been really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah entertaining. People are watches. moaning in the round of 16, slide, but it's like, yeah, but it was, it you really the, the shitters rule, are getting yeah. knocked out. Wait till the quarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah and exactly. And it's yeah. been, it's been so good. Those quarters were well good. That's why I don't mind easy draws all across the board. They say it's like that round of sixteen. Yeah. When you get the the stronger yeah, teams going exactly. through that court final, it's just tasty, you don't want like Madrid it? against Bayern in the in the round of sixteen. No, of course it's, it's yeah. less, less, less on the line. Yeah. 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 The quarters of the semis have been for the elite, which they should be. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, yeah. It, and yeah, it's t- WWE story story writing. Hell yeah. Italian. All right. F- final prediction. Just give me a team, no explanation. Bayern Munich. Madrid. PSG. I do think it'll be Madrid, but... Say Dortmund. Come on, Dortmund. Hey, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. All right. One of us is going to be right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've, yeah, we've covered it all. Yeah, yeah. We'll put that in the clip at the, <laughs> at the end of the season. All right. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll be back with another video later this week. And, of course, the games and the quizzes. All that co- content coming, so make sure you keep an eye out. Subscribe, all that shit. Do what Gareth said. Peace out.